Hey there, my name is Alex. I am the Silvermont, and Baldur's Gate 3 won Game of the Year. As with any title that wins Game of the Year, it then received a mysterious onslaught of 0 or 1 out of 10 review scores that definitely aren't from people upset that a game won an award. As I find it extremely entertaining to skim a Metacritic for reviews of that nature, I thought I'd share some of my favourites. These are all uh, real reviews in that they were all on Metacritic, although keep in mind some of them are no longer on Metacritic, whether they were removed for clearly being uh, a review bombing or because the person in question changed their mind, who can say? But let's get right into them, shall we? The video game Baldur's Gate 3 does not meet the necessary standards to be universally acclaimed by both the industry and players. Its specific focus on the dedicated role-playing game RPG genre is not to everyone's liking due to its particular mechanics. Furthermore, Baldur's Gate 3 lacks a distinctive plot that sets it apart significantly from other RPGs in the market. The choice of this game as the best of 2023 seems to be more influenced by community pressure than by objective criteria reflecting the overall player experience. This decision does not adequately represent the diversity of preferences and opinions within the gaming community. Consequently, the high ratings given by the gaming press may be considered exaggerated, as the game exhibits mediocre gameplay that does not justify its overrated reputation. Overrated, did not deserve Goshi Award. The only thing that is worth mentioning is when a guy SND a bear star 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 with each. Worst gameplay in a game that I have ever witnessed 100% not recommended. It doesn't even merit Goshi. It was 100% rigged not recommend. Diablo IV is better this game is League of Legends in 2011. BS this the D&D BS. Maxi zoomed we be zong. Is this the new standard for RPGs? Is this some kind of joke? There are tons of RPGs much better than this. People who call this a masterpiece have played nothing but Tetris before. Baldur's Gate 3 is the worst part of the Baldur's Gate series and very average as a RPG and as a game in general. The game has no its own visual style, it's totally generic. Is this the new divinity or maybe it is another Asian MMO? All metal parts of any armor look goofy like painted plastic. All animations except dialogue are awfully slow clumsy and ridiculous, and I don't believe they are done with actors just like I don't believe in the 17k endings nonsense. The plot is delirious and black and white, it feels like reading a kid's fanfic. During the whole game I met only four really interesting quests. For an RPG, that's just a shame. The evil ending is thrash, it was like Riddick sitting on a chair. Larian's, what looked great in the parody game Saints Row in your kinda serious game looks ridiculous. The companions are also disgusting, literally sets of cliches. Asterion is Zevran plus Dorian plus Fenris, taking the worst parts of those characters. Gale is Anders. Karlak is a cheap copy of any Kunarai from Inquisition. Toilet unfunny, humor, that is literally everywhere. Or at best, unfinished jokes. So, yeah, I found orcs in a barn. Where's the joke? Think back to a similar moment from an actually good game DA2. Remember how Isabella reacted? This is what jokes in quality games should look like. Fan service. Larians try so hard to please everyone. There's the bear. The complete undressing, the futter, the protagonist who can romance anyone, and a bunch of other cringe kinks. Well, Nolifers fell for it, congratulations. Summary, the game is not worth its hype and buzzwords. The only thing that worked really well in this game is the PR team. This game is boring to put it simply. 
It's a semi-top-down Commerel 2-1-2D game with lengthy cut scenes that bore you to sleep. The fact it won Game of the Year 2023 appalls me. Winning against the smart and creative Mario Wonder, the expansive and innovative lands of Tears of the Kingdom, the suspenseful halls of Resident Evil 4, and the crime-ridden streets of Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is unjust and stupid. It's boring gameplay, mixed with the terrible inventory management. And its downright bad boss fights are the epitome of what not to do in a game, and should not win, or even get nominated for the Game Awards. It is the definition of a bad video game. The only thing redeeming about it is the high res, and the detailed design of the models. But if you work hard on a piece of trash it is a piece of trash all the same. Come on, I can't be the only worth common sense. WTF is this crap? It's a glorified board game WTH, if wrong with people, it's an electronic experience at best doesn't even qualify as a game. There's too much blood. I deleted it after the scene with the brain. I almost threw up. What is happening? This is one of the worst games I have ever played. What part of this garbage do people enjoy? The traversal in this game is beyond awful. Your character feels like a rotten sack of potatoes that's being dragged around by a disabled turtle and his pet snail. On top of that, Larian decided that it would be a good idea to put traps everywhere, slowing you down even more. Then there's the combat. There isn't much to say about the combat because it's the most boring combat in any game made since the 1990s. It's turn-based, with a ridiculous wheel of action choices. Slog through the gigantic menu of actions to pick the action your character will do, then they will do it. Would have been groundbreaking two decades ago, but now it's ancient and boring. The graphics are great. Seriously top-notch. The shadows and plant movements are amazing. The story seems okay. Not great, but adequate. But the parts that make this a game are the worst I've seen in any game for at least a decade. It's truly amazing that a game this objectively awful one got why. It's like people were told to like it, so they did. Oh, and I got this game for free. So don't think I'm salty about paying for this garbage. Even free is way too much to spend on a game this bad. But maybe that has something to do with why I see the flaws. I don't have the sunk costs fallacy that others might have. If you paid 60 bucks, you might want to find something you like about a game that has no redeeming value whatsoever. Just a thought. Je ne comprends pas toute l'envie de ce jeu. Tout ce que je trouve bien, c'est les designs des personnages. Slow-paced and unspectacular combat. Unnecessary dice. Characters are not attractive. How the hell did this buggy POS win game of the year? And also win community support. After several huge patches that make this game take over 100 gigabytes of storage space. There are still a plethora of bugs that lock you out of content. It was a really slimy tactic for Larian to only allow you to play Act 1 during early access and give the false sense of a completed and functioning game. I have dumped over 200 hours into this game, most of which creating new characters and playing through Act 1 several times until I found the right character to see the story through. However, Act 2 and beyond are buggy messes that lock you out of content you paid full price for. The best metaphor I can think of to describe this is that you take a turd, polish it, spray with cologne, wrap it in gold, so it loses the same of a turd. But when you open it you are still left with a pile of shasta star. Never buying another game from Larian so I can waste time more time on something so buggy it star 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 any fun or potential it had. So TLDR if you are fine with paying full price for the shiny wrapper of a turd, go ahead and throw your money on this dumpster fire. 
horrendous game, utter garbage graphics, terrible characters, and boring as star 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 star. Like how this game is better than most legendary games stop lying on yourself it's buggy, and yeah it has decent features, but to be over legendary games it's not acceptable at all that's my opinion if you enjoyed this game that's good for you. With the reviews, I thought, no matter this type of game isn't my thing, it seems to be for everyone. Dear Lord, no. I'm not cool by any means but lordy, this is top tier nerdy stuff. Also, very time consuming. Expect to spend hours and still be pretty much where you were when you first logged in that day. I think with some insane level of actually caring about what's going on and the results of your actions, it is maybe good. I couldn't give a monkeys and so I just tried to plow through star 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 star, even then it all took ages. No idea why the big love, but if you hated it like me, you're not alone. Hope that makes you feel a tad better about wasting your hard-earned money.